What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're playing another This Land Is My Land. You guys have really, really been into this little grouping of videos. And so I figure I give you a little bit more because that's how things work around here. When I see something people are really, really into, we continue diving on into it. Uh, in the previous episode, we had thought about the possibility of leading a war party against one of the big forts over here. We've also got a military garrison on this side. I do need to check out and I do need to see just how accessible both of these locations are going to be before we lead the attack on them. But it is nighttime. I do think that we're ready. We have enough warriors in the area that I think running up on the enemy is a really, really good idea. And we can probably knock them off this corner of the map and gain ourselves a little bit more land for processing and gathering and all that kind of stuff. Let me see if I can put people on gather orders real fast. So how many people do we have in Malawan right now? In Malawan, we have two people, and inside of Nansaula, we've got ourselves what look like six people. All right, so in Nansaula, what I would like you to do is you guys go out, and I would like you guys to gather, let's say, flax for now. You guys go gather flax. I think I have another camp where I can conceivably send people out. I think I have enough camps to also bring in Kawashan, which will claim this territory for us, which will be really, really nice. So far, we haven't had any options to find boars, which is what I'm interested in. We have bears, and we have a lot of wolves and coyotes, but we need boars. Until we find a territory where there's a lot of boars so that we can go boar hunting and have them just farming boar pelts for us, we're going to kind of keep hitting stop gaps with the way that we're able to colonize and move on out. I do think that the colonization cost can be a little bit heavy sometimes. Uh, we talked about that in the previous episode where I think that for the first like level of upgrading your camp, basically to go from level 1 to level 2 should just be like sticks and flax, in my opinion. But... We do need boar pelts, and we do need wolf pelts, and we do need all of that fun stuff in order to make this all work. We've got a nice misty evening that seems to imply that something bad is about to happen to our enemies, and I don't think that's an implication at all. I think that's a promise. I think we're going to take care of business out here today. Uh, we got a bit of a long ride in front of us, so I'll see you when we get to the enemy territory. Okay, so there's Fort Garview. That's going to be the one that we want to attack. So if we go to Poconoy right here, and we say to attack... We can go ahead and we can hit Fort Garvey, and I want all of my warriors on this, like all seven of them. I want you all equipped with weaponry. I want you all ready to roll out, get this thing done. I'm also going to give you, like, way more arrows because it seems like a really good idea. I don't know what bullets you need to bring with you, but bring more of them with you. Whatever ammunition you need, bring it, please. Also, 16-gauge shells. All right, so we'll send them on out. And as you can see, our war party right here has left. I don't know if they're going to follow the road down to the south and attack from the same direction that we're attacking from. It looks like they are. Every now and again, this game is currently in early access, and it's being patched, and it's being, you know, bug-fixed and everything else. You will sometimes run into problems with your attack parties where they'll go across the mountains like this randomly and they'll get stuck on random collision or they'll get stuck. This isn't actually just like a token on the map. This is actually the war party. This is them running along like seven little guys on the ground trying to get there as fast as possible. Because we're attacking at night, I do think that we have a pretty good chance of getting in here and taking this place out without running into too many problems. And since it is one of the biggest, most nearby forts, I think that it'll probably eliminate any chance of patrols that we have coming along as well. The patrols in this game tend to be deployed from forts to other locations. So if you can knock out the fort first, it tends to be a really good plan in order to sort of eliminate the chance that you're going to get reinforcements while attacking other areas. The good news is we're in a really great spot right now. Uh, we can actually, I think with this right here, with the attack orders, yeah, so we can hit that other little camp down there. I don't know if we can hit the military camp that's down the hill that way, but we should have a whole lot of raids and a whole lot of warfare going on today. And in fact, it looks like my warriors are stuck. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they're looking for a path right now. I was worried about that. Every now and again, when they cut across these little mountainous areas, they get stuck. They always seem to pop loose after a couple of hours. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, no. That's poor timing. Definitely don't feel like dealing with that. Uh, let's get on a horse, and let's get the hell on out of here if we can. That's definitely really, really poorly timed. Two bears. Not just one bear, 
Two bears. Fantastic. The best. I believe my guys are up on the mountain right now, probably shooting at these bears. Trying to assist us, but not really helping altogether that much. If I can get up over the mountain, maybe that would be helpful. Yeah, I think they're definitely shooting at the bear. Go! Spur your horse! I've been holding the W key for like eight seconds right there, and he's still not accelerating and running away. It's a bit of a it's a it's a bit of an irritating thing. Um I would like for you to ride forward and do stuff, please. Is the bear still on me right now? I don't even know if the bear's still on me. I believe that it is. I think the bear might be a little bit confused. Ah, they made it down the hill, so it's time for the battle. There it is. They're fighting over here. Let's go help them out. We're going to jump in on this, even though there's a good chance that we're going to get, like, bared down on. Uh, the enemy very much appears to be aware of us. We are being shot at, by the way. BT dubs. Getting shot. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not pleasant. Are you guys winning over here? Or are you guys losing horribly? Oof. Well, with the graphics doing what they're doing right now, unfortunately, I can't see too well. That's not good. That's really, really bad. I don't honestly know where the rest of my forces are at. We've only lost one guy. There should be like seven guys here. The fact that we're not fighting with overwhelming force right now is actually kind of concerning. I'm going to dive across this way in the hopes that maybe the graphics will clean themselves up in just a minute and I'll be able to see. But that's definitely not good. We may have to restart the game or something after this. I was hoping this battle would be a little bit more cinematic, but instead it appears as though things are just like falling apart horribly. I can't even see what I'm shooting at right now. My health is low enough that I don't want to take the risk. Uh, we've got a couple of casualties. We've got a, like one dead guy over there. Bunch of dead enemies. I don't want to push up and in at all. Like not even a little bit. Uh, if I could eat like some sausage. That'd probably be a good start. Yeah, eat some sausage. Let's get our health back real quick. Oh, there's a guy back there. I see him now. You guys going to make me do all this myself, huh? right there too okay there we go Let's see if I can pin him down real fast At the end of the day it looks like I more or less did all this by myself anyways one left back here when he crosses over we'll take him out I was hoping to avoid some of the karmic penalties that we're getting right now and that was really what I was hoping for doesn't look like it went that way uh, these guys will loot this camp over here, so we don't need to worry about that part. Uh, all of the loot that's inside of this place, they'll grab it for themselves. I'll go through and I'll like help out with it because I don't think they're going to be able to hold all of it. But we found ourselves a .json file, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a rock trigger right there, something trigger, 54 caliber load ball. We've got some screws. We'll take it all. Even if we have to like dump it all back at like our central base, it's no biggie. Uh, is everybody out of here? Trying to make sure that we've kind of picked through all this stuff. Let's see, we got some gunpowder. We got some loot over on this side. What's inside here? Glue, playing cards. Good. Well, we've got trade items. Trade items are good. I can always take those over to like a trader and make sure that they get used. Uh, lots and lots of dead guys, unfortunately. Oh, really? We got a repeater over on this side. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'll take that. I like the idea of a repeater. I'll take a repeater in a heartbeat. We've also got an experimental pistol over here that appears to hold four rounds every single time that you fire it. Are we all done in this spot? These guys should be, like, raiding and looting right now. I think they're trying to find a way in. The other thing we need to do is we need to rescue all of these guys right here. So we will rescue some of our people. We will honor the sacrifice of our fallen brethren. Apparently it's taking me a really, really long time to get this gate open. 
All right, so we'll release you. Release you. Perfect. If my karma gets too low, we're not going to be able to use the trader anymore, which is really kind of a bummer. But you guys get on out of here. I don't really care which of our villages you go to. Just go to a village. If you go to a village, I accept that. And then you, sir, you may join us as well. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Yes, it's good to have you. Welcome. Welcome. Everyone is welcome. All are welcome. All are welcome. Uh, I will take all of that stuff. We're going to be overloaded, but what I'll do is I'll put, like, I'll put all the guns and whatnot inside of this bag over here. That way I know where it's all at. And we got another dead guy over here. All right. We will take all of your stuff. And then we will take all of your stuff. Perfect. And then we will put you over here. That way it gets saved. I'm pretty sure like half the time when you put stuff inside of these things, like if you leave them on the ground, the bodies despawn or whatever. And I think the loot despawns with them. And so I really prefer... Ooh, that's a nice little revolver right there in 1873. That's a nice... It looks like a little Nagant revolver. That's a nice little revolver for the time. I'd take it. And we got a dead guy over here. All right, let's take all of his loot. We've got that. Was there anything lootable inside of here? A French military side plate. Cool. Really wish whatever this graphical thing is would stop happening. It's a little uh, terrifying. Don't like that that's happening. That makes me worry ever so slightly. But I'm just going to assume it's the game and not my graphics card. If it's my graphics card, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Apparently I'm losing more warriors, but I'm not exactly sure why I'm losing more warriors. I don't know if it's because they're fighting bears or like what it is they're doing over here. I sent them to loot this territory. And instead, I'm kind of getting the feeling... Yeah, let's send them home real fast. Just to kind of keep things on the up and up. My guess is that maybe they ran into a bear. I don't know where those two bears went when they ran off, but they ran off somewhere. Uh, we should be overpopulation, I think, in Poconoy. Right? Oh, no, because our five warriors are out. We're not... Okay, so we need to take... We'll take, like, four of these guys... Yeah, send them to Malawan. So if they could get on and over to Malawan, that would be great. I need a few more people over in Malawan to, like, gather and do the things that need to get done. This guy appears to be bugged over here. He's just, like, sitting around. I don't know if he's doing anything important. But he does appear to be just, like, frozen in place. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? I think he's after that bugged out bear over there is what he's after. These guys are starting to head home. We'll send out another raiding party to grab all the loot out of this place in just a minute and take it back to Poconos. But for now, I want to get rid of that bear over there. Bear hides are really, really useful, and I like having them around. So let's endeavor to do that, shall we? Bear battle. We're battling bears. The bear done seen me, and he's got a lot of hair. Battling bears. Battling bears. Oh my god, that bear's so fast. I don't think a bear can outrun a horse. I'll be honest. Seems kind of unlikely to me that a bear can outrun a horse. I'm just going to ride around in circles until they eventually kill it. I hear people shooting guns. And doing all kinds of fun stuff. Who's shooting guns right now? I hear gunfire. But I don't see who's shooting. See, that's how it's done right there. That's how it's done right there. You just got to ride backwards. See, I knew I'd figure it out. You just got to ride backwards while shooting at the bear and you'll be perfectly fine. Let's hop off and see if we can get a bear hide out of this thing. Uh, we did. We got a bear pelt. Very nice. Very, very nice. Absolutely 100% acceptable. I hear an awful lot of shooting from this direction. And I don't like that. Why do I hear an awful lot of shooting? What are you guys shooting at?
Yeah, maybe like spur your horse. Probably be a good idea. Oh my god, there's so many bears. There's like a hundred of them. I didn't know we were going to be fighting this many bears. Good lord. Wow. Okay. Apparently, we just like walked into, as we were on our way to fight the settlers, we walked into just a mound of angry bears. Just like hundreds of them. Just bears everywhere. Good God. No wonder there was so much shooting up here. We found a fleet of bears. I don't even know what you call more than like two to three bears, but we done found them up here. No wonder there was so much fighting and death and everything else going on. Oof. Oh my god. There's so many of them. What's up with all these bears, man? Why you got so many bears up here, man? Why you got so many... Why, why, why you have to have so many bears up here, man? Why are there so many bears up here, my guy? There is at least like six bears up in here. It's terrifying. There is no need for so many bears. Your bear storage is full. You're going to need to renew your account and increase your subscription level to platinum in order to store this many bears, man. All right. Well, let's, I guess, get on out of here. That was harrowing. I wasn't quite ready for what just happened right there. I don't exactly accept what just happened right there either. Mostly, I just feel scared for my safety. Uh, so when those guys get back to Malewan, which will be nice, we'll send them back on out this way, and we'll have them loot the remainder of the good stuff from there. Uh, we've got a couple of pistols and things with us, too, that are not helpful right now, but will be. Now, did those guys all relocate down to... Malewan? I believe that they did. Our five warriors should arrive back really, really shortly. Alright, so we gotta do some organizational stuff. But not before we loot this location. Like, I want you guys to, like, loot that over there. Go and, go and loot away. You guys equip yourselves, but also go loot. I believe in all of you. In addition, what I need is I need a couple people from Malewan to go over and fill in in Pokenoy. So I need like two guys, just like two of you guys, to go over to Pokenoy. That way you can attack from here. We're going to hit this little camp down the hill. It's just outside, it's just inside of our influence range, which is good. Uh, but we're going to have to, I need backup in order to pick off some of these camps. I really sincerely do. If I don't have backup, we're going to have issues. I don't think I can take these two camps by myself, especially not that one over there. That one's got like a palisade and everything. That one's got like sandbags and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Down here, I might be able to pick off like one or two of these guys down this way, but I doubt that I'll be able to get all of them, especially in our current kind of scuffed state. So like we'll sneak down in there and we'll do a little bit of scouting and just kind of see what we can see. But we probably won't initiate the attack just yet. Uh, I think that would be folly. I think that would be a really, really bad idea. Let's get low real fast. So I got two on the head count right now. Three. So we got one, two, and three. So yeah, I got one right there, two right there. That guy along the outer edges might be the one to go after. He might be our boy. If we can grab him and like knock him out and then drag him away from the camp and like terrify him in the bushes maybe. Might be a good idea. I would like to increase my stealth. But it seems like they've got pretty good sight lines on me right now. I do feel as though they're able to see me really, really, really well. And I would prefer that they not be able to see me, in all honesty. There's also not a whole lot of, like, escape vectors from here if we do end up getting caught. I 
I don't know whose awareness is getting us right there. Whose awareness is getting us? One of them's seeing us right now. I don't know which one it is. Oh, there's one at the campfire over there, too. Okay. I was hoping they'd go to sleep at some point. That's what I was really hoping for. Did you guys manage to get all those goodies? Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Go get it. I believe in all of you. Let me see what I can do with my skill points here. How many SPs do I have? Not enough. I've got like some SP, but not enough to really make me feel as though we've got a good chance of being stealthy. I need 1760 in order to get sneak one. Oh, there's another one over there in front of the tent, too. Yeah, unless those guys go to bed, this is going to be a pretty prickly situation. I think either that guy on the left or that guy right there is definitely going to see me. If I try to knock one of these guys out. That guy right there is kind of free flowing right now and that worries me too. I think they're somewhat aware that something's up. You know that feeling you get sometimes where you're being watched and then it turns out that there's like an animal nearby that you didn't see that's like watching you? I kind of feel like that's where we're at right now. What's that guy doing? Is he going out to piss or something? Oh, there's another one right there. That guy went into the tent. Yeah, I think this guy's having a piss over here. I can be useful. Uh, yeah. Let's take him. All right, we'll put him down in the bushes, like right over here. We'll put him down, and I'm going to loot. Oh, I don't have the space to loot him, actually. Okay. Well, then we'll just intimidate him as is. His buddy ain't come back, so at least the operation worked. We've eliminated some of the numbers from this place, which is honestly really the hard part with some of these camps, is just getting, like, the first guy taken out. Uh, this guy over here, we might be able to do something with him. It depends if he turns around in time. I really hope that he doesn't. If he decides to make his way back at the wrong moment here, we may end up with some serious problems on our hands. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop moving around, man. Please don't kill me. There you go. All right. I think we're probably good to do this right here. I don't see anybody else around, so I think we're all right. That guy's going to run to the hills, which is good. This guy's name is Jabawack. I don't know what his mama was thinking. I get the feeling she wasn't thinking. Being overloaded right now is really, really bad. But I need to, like, stash some of this loot somewhere so we can come back and get it later. Uh, we intimidated two people, so that should be a pretty considerable chunk of SP that we're going to glean. Look at that one guy over there that's inside the tent. I don't know if he's sleeping or what he's doing, but either way, we've run off two people now. So that's two less guys to potentially murder me if this ends up not going the way that I want it to. We've got one guy over there.
I'm gonna stash some of this loot inside of here so that I can stay light and I can stay mobile. All right, so we'll put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. I don't know what else I'm carrying. It looks like a lot of ammo is what I'm ending up carrying, actually. I got some medicine. Yeah, use a medicine. Why not? We could use some health. All right, so our weight should be a lot better now, right? What's our what's our what's our weight looking like? We're at half weight right now. Good. All right, let's see if we can find some of these other dudes over here and just kind of get rid of them. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Easy enough. Definitely could have been worse. And honestly, like, the reason I'm doing this right now is because I need the karma from this camp and doing the right thing. We killed a lot of people in the last camp, and so I'm trying to keep my karma somewhat even. All right, so with two more guys gotten rid of, our lives should get easier. That's right, run away. Run away. We got an unknown hostile right here. He's going to sleep. I can, tell you everything. can you? I don't care. Let's intimidate him real fast. I don't know if he's the last one. I don't hear any more talking. So he might... Johnny is apparently his name. And this guy might have actually intel for us too. Uh, because he's kind of an elite. He's got the little star above his head, so he's the camp leader, I think. All right, so with this guy over here, we will put all the weapons inside of here. There you go. The weapons have been placed. That way we're no longer overburdened. I don't know if that's the last guy. I hope that's the last guy. If that's the last guy, we actually did pretty bang-up work over here. We stealthed a pretty big, pretty nasty camp. I don't see anybody else inside of here. So I think we may be golden. Like, if anything, there's like one guy running around the edge of the camp over here, but I think we got them all. Came out to five or six guys in total. I think we're good. Probably send down a war camp just to clean this place out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think if we send a if we send a group down here, I think it's a good idea. So we'll send them. Yeah, this camp's been eliminated. All right. Well, go ahead and oop, my auto equip. I messed up. Okay, we got to restart from scratch because I messed up the auto equip. Let's go back to. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we'll go back to here and then we will send them down to this camp. I need all of you guys to equip yourselves just in case there's trouble, and then we'll send them down this way to loot this stuff. If they end up going after Eggert, that's, like, fine. I don't want them to go after Eggert, but if they do, that's life. There's not really a whole lot you can do about that. Oh, my God, so much more SP. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Okay, I want to be sneakier. Make me most sneakier. There we go. So we're now most sneakier, which is very, very important to me. I want to be most sneakier. Uh, if we can stay sneaky, I think we'll be all right. I'll take first dibs on the loot over here just to have a look since I cleared the place out anyways. If there's anything that looks really, really rad that I end up wanting... Ah, a weapon blueprint. Exactly. A high-quality Smith & Russell. Perfect. Uh, let's look around for blueprints. Because those are really the only thing that I want to take out of any of these camps. If there's blueprints, it pleases me. If there's not blueprints, it's a bummer. It's inside this cart right here. Tomato. Restores health, I'll take it. Anything that restores health quickly with no downside is something that I'm all right with. What do we have going on over here? This is not lootable? Oh, well, never mind then. It does look like they have their little loot camp over here, so we'll grab whatever we can. Can I get these hides? 
No, I can't get the hides. Bummer. What you have over on this side? Just all the ammo in the world. Apparently, that's their ammo resupply point, which is good for us. Very, very good for us. Uh, let's get on out of here. Why is there a horse just standing right there? Is that my horse? That's a white horse. Where'd the white horse come from? Uh, okay. There's just a random white horse over here? I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll take it. I mean, Grand Theft Equestrine has occurred again. I don't know where all my scavengers are at. Hopefully they don't hit that little camp over there, dude. If they do, it's gonna suck. No! Stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing what you're doing! Yeah, come this way at a more severe angularity, please. Please do not go near that giant militarized camp over there. I don't want to lose all of you. I can't lose all of you. You're all too beautiful. I just, I can't lose all of you right now. That camp over there might just be like a simple military battery, actually. It only looks like they have like four or five guys. Couldn't be that bad. Hey, there goes my little squad of looters. Nice. Go get it. Go get it, chief. Go get it. All right, well, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of This Land is My Land. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a productive episode. We've wiped out a couple of big camps along the way, and we're bringing back, we're bringing back some loots, man. We're bringing back some loots right now. And so hopefully they'll bring all of the guns back to Pokanoi. And once they bring back all the guns, we can take a look at them and we can figure out what we can upgrade, what we can move around, what we can stock up, and what we can make higher quality. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it. It lets me know what people are engaged with and what they're excited about seeing more of. And other than that, I don't really have a whole lot more for you. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in, and how you doing? Take care, everybody.